Welcome to the fifth and final part of my Dangerous Creatures presentation. Today we're going to be looking at the last two chains of screens as I see them in the program, because they're both really short. Let's begin with... Funnelweb Spider, which lives only in Australia. In Australia, don't get too friendly with any spider, or snake, or reptile, or amphibian. Australia is the home of a lot of amazing animals, and many of them are venomous. Their venom is deadly, so be thankful there's an antidote. How would you provide yourself with an appetizing meal? Step one, build yourself a web on the ground. Step two, hide in the middle. Step three, rush out when the vibrations tell you that dinner has arrived. And step four, eat heartily at your leisure. An Australian funnel web spider can inject powerful venom. So can a black widow. Black Widow Spider, which lives in North, Central and South America, Tropical Europe and Asia, Africa and Northern Australia. Black Widows bite only in self-defense, so if you see one, leave it alone. They like to make their webs across the seats in outdoor toilets, so I suggest you look before you sit. You'd bring a gift as well. A female black widow, like some scorpions, may eat the male after mating. A female black widow is a good homemaker. She guards her egg sac until the babies hatch, and carefully wraps up extra food for future meals. Not all spiders are as dangerous as the Black Widow. One that looks frightening but is relatively harmless is the Tarantula. Tarantula, which lives in North, Central and South America, Europe, Northern Africa, Southern Asia and Australia. Tarantulas are big and hairy, and they may jump at you if you tease them, so they can be very frightening, but they're really very nice spiders to have around. Spiders eating mice? Lizards? Here's a spider with a really big appetite. Tarantulas don't build webs to catch their prey. Instead, they are hunting spiders that pounce on their victims. Some even eat birds. If you are sitting on the branch of a tree in a Latin American rainforest, you might see a tarantula crawl by, or a harpy eagle flying beneath the forest canopy. Harpy Eagle, which lives in southern Mexico and South America. Harpy Eagles can swoop down on a monkey at 50 miles per hour. But you're safe, as long as you don't wear a monkey suit and swing from trees in the rainforest. An eagle's incredible long-distance vision can zoom in on even the smallest animals. In addition to hunting on land or in the air, many eagles have mastered fishing. Eagles all over the world use this method of hunting, from the bald eagle in North America to the fish eagle in Africa. Harpy eagles live in the tropical rainforests of Central and South America. So also do many types of boa constrictor. Boa, which lives in Central and South America, India, Madagascar, Tropical Asia, and the Caribbean islands. Boas are not venomous, but they can bite and they have sharp teeth. 
Don't move your hand quickly in front of a boa, or it may mistake your hand for prey. And don't ever let a boa give you a hug. Camouflage for the growing emerald boa. Red at first for the low bushes, and emerald green by tree time. Hanging upside down is no problem for an emerald tree boa. It just wraps its tail around a branch as an anchor. Swallowing a full-grown parrot for supper might be a little harder. A boa is a thick-bodied, muscular snake, and some types like the water. Don't mistake this next animal for a harmless water snake. It's an electric eel. Electric eel, which lives only in South America. You wouldn't stick your finger into an electric socket, would you? So stay away from an electric eel. These creatures can send 600 volts through your body. If the shock doesn't kill you, it'll certainly make your hair stand on end. Equipped with radar and an organ that stuns with a 550 volt blast, the electric eel is indeed shocking. The marks on an electric eel's skin are not pimples, they're electric receptors. These fish use electric pulses not only to stun their prey, but also to communicate with each other. An electric eel is not really a true eel, but rather just a different kind of fish. To see a true eel, look for a moray. Moray eel, which lives in shallow tropical and subtropical seas worldwide. If you're ever unlucky enough to have a moray bite you, experts say you should grin and bear the pain. The eel will eventually let go and swim away. Then you can do the same. The eel only bites if it's threatened, or mistakes some part of a person for its usual food. Moray eels always have their mouths open. Not for biting, but for breathing. Although occasionally one might challenge a diver, it's usually the people who are disturbing the eels, not the other way around. That's the end of the first chain. And before we move on to the final one, let's take a look at the videos for three games that basically stand alone. None of the other main screens lead to them, and they in turn all lead to pages that we've covered already. How big am I? In this activity, you drag each animal into the square at the center to see its size compared with a man. Once all the animals have had their turn, your reward is the following video. Ferocious facts. In this game, you have to guess which of the animals on the right the statement describes. When all the animals are matched up, your reward is the following video. Which is this? In this game, you have to match each animal to its close-up. When all the animals are matched up, your reward is the following video.
Well, here we go. The last chain we're going to look at comprises only five screens. The meeting place. In this game, you have to guess which animal on the right would meet the animal on the left. When all the animals are matched up, your reward is the following video. All over the world, many animals share their environments with rats. Rat, which lives almost everywhere. All rodents have vicious teeth, so never try to pick up a wild rat. For that matter, don't squeeze or tease a tame one. My brother's pet mouse latched onto my finger once and I thought I'd never get it off. Rats are clean little animals. It's the fleas they carry with them that transmit disease. Rats are as much at home in a city as they are in the wild. Inside the walls of houses or in sewers under the streets. Rats live easily with humans. If a rat left its footprints across your floor, would you recognize its tracks? Test your skill at identifying animal tracks. Whose tracks are these? In this game, you have to guess which animal on the right the tracks belong to. When all the animals are matched up, your reward is the following video. <laughs> Even when you don't see wild animals, you can discover where they live from examining their tracks. Finding out where and how they live is the first step in a program for protecting them. Protecting animals. Protecting animals means more than just getting people to stop shooting them. We've got to make sure they have places to live and raise their young, and the right prey or plants to eat as well. Knowledge is the key to finding out how we can help our planet's wildlife survive. The last known thylacine, or Tasmanian wolf, died in captivity in 1933. These animals are gone from the earth forever. Correction, 1936, not 1933. If we don't start protecting animals, many will become extinct. Worldwide Fund for Nature works to promote biodiversity. That means saving all the plants and animals on this planet. World Wildlife Fund. Do you love wild animals? Then don't just sit still, do something to protect them. Join World Wildlife Fund, plant trees, recycle, clean up a stream. These creatures need your help. If you were endangered, wouldn't you want someone to protect you? We share our planet with so many wonderful creatures. It's up to us to preserve the Earth in all of its beauty and diversity. Worldwide Fund for Nature works to protect the habitats of endangered species around the world. Its members are making a difference every day. And that's the end of my presentation on Microsoft's Dangerous Creatures. Thank you so much for listening.